Game Ranks presents the top 25 PC games coming out in 2015. Seriously guys, this is a massive list and we have a lot to talk about. So as always, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us out, but let's get rolling. Starting off with number 25, Dying Light. Even though zombies are pretty much overdone in a video game world right now, Dying Light seems to amp it up with parkour elements from Mirror's Edge with a pretty interesting story. It looks like an open world first person zombie game that's actually gonna live up to its potential. I'm looking at you, Dead Island. Number 24. Gat Out of Hell is the newest Saints Row game, and it looks to be even more ridiculous than any Saints Row game before it. And really, that's what makes these newer Saints Row games special, is the fact that they feel like modded out, crazy versions of previous titles. And this one is definitely no exception, look at it. Number 23. If you're going to make something derivative, you might as well do it well. Case in point, Overwatch. Overwatch is Blizzard's attempt to make a Team Fortress 2 style free to play game, and it looks awesome with beautifully designed characters and fun gameplay. It's definitely worth checking out. Number 22. Broforce is just a pure, unadulterated, fun game that deserves a spot on your radar. It's absolutely ridiculous and embraces Rambo movie cliches, and currently it's in early access and the full game is releasing in 2015. Number 21. Darkest Dungeon stands out from all the other dungeon crawlers out there by making the mental well-being of the character something the player has to think about. It's got deep RPG roguelike systems and beautiful visuals, and it's coming out in January 2015. Number 20. Neo Scavenger. Have you ever wanted to kill someone with a crowbar, steal their pants, cut the flesh from their body, and throw it into your kitty sled filled with broken bottles and alcohol and firearms? No? Just me? Well, in this game you could do that. It's an addictive post-apocalyptic survival game that's coming out soon. Number 19. There's not a lot of information out about Firewatch just yet, but there is a teaser trailer that's really cool. It looks like a weird wilderness survival horror game, but seriously, check out the teaser. It just might convince you. Number 18. To say that the visuals in Ori and the Blind Forest are simply stunning feels like doing a disservice because they're truly remarkable. Look at this game. It's a quirky little indie platformer with emotion, and we all love those. Number 17. The original Homefront was pretty much a Call of Duty knockoff, but it had a lot of potential and a small cult following. Homefront the Revolution takes the captive American idea to the next level in a futuristic Philadelphia occupied by North Korea. The Homefront series has been given another shot. Here's hoping that they knock it out of the park this time. Number 16. Superhot is an indie Kickstarter-backed first-person shooter game where the bullet time only activates when the player is standing still. Meaning this simple idea turns the usual first-person shooting on its head. It looks like an absolute crazy mind explosion and it's coming out on PC and Xbox One in 2015. Number 15. Hyper Light Drifter blew everyone away when the Kickstarter campaign for it launched, and the game raised almost $700,000. The game itself looks insanely beautiful with some fast combat and a huge world to explore, and it's coming out this year. Number 14. Star Wars Battlefront. Playing the Battlefront games online was some of the most fun you could have had on PC games back in the day. So we know there's a lot of PC gamers out there who are really excited for the next Battlefront game. Not to mention the fact that DICE is developing it, the creators of Battlefield. So here's hoping it doesn't come out like Battlefield 4. Number 13. Speaking of Battlefield, Battlefield Hardline, developed by Visceral Games, the makers of Dead Space. Hardline is straying away from the military shooter aspect and embracing the cops and robbers motif. And honestly, it kind of looks like a first person bad boys the game, and that's cool. Sign me up. Number 12. Y2K is an American-made indie game in the style of a Japanese RPG. Taking inspiration from Earthbound, the game is incredibly surreal and looks like it's a lot of fun and it looks like it's going to bring a lot of new stuff to the table with a real focus on storytelling. It's coming out on PC in late 2015. Number 11. Titan Souls. One life, one arrow, and every enemy is a boss. That's the easiest way to explain it. It's kind of like a minimalist, artsy Dark Souls. It's really a great concept with some fantastic enemy design, and we're excited to play it in 2015. We're getting down to the final 10. Let's do this. Stardust Vanguards. If there's two things that games need more of, it's local multiplayer and mechs. I'm serious. Stardust Vanguard happens to be a local multiplayer game in the style of almost like Gundam, and it looks sweet. It's greenlit on Steam with no release date, but according to the developers, it's almost finished, and we're dying to get our hands on it. Number 9. You guys are on YouTube, you probably know a lot about Evolve already. The Left 4 Dead style game focuses on multiple players cooperating to take down a player-controlled monster character that is constantly growing stronger across the battlefield. Evolve just might be the new game to hop on Skype with four friends and just play around for hours, and we can't wait. Number 8. Time Spinner is basically a Metroidvania-style game that you can stop and manipulate time. It's got classic Super Nintendo, early PS1-style graphics, and it looks so cool. It's almost like a combination of Symphony of the Night and Mega Man. Number 7. 
Witch Marsh is a side-scrolling action RPG with two to four player co-op with several playable characters. It's got a bunch of interesting gameplay mechanics and cool spells, and it has a Jazz Age style, which we don't really see very often. Witch Marsh is going to be exclusive to PC, Mac, and Linux in December of 2015. Number six. You guys all know about No Man's Sky. This is the open-ended, first-person space exploration game. We still don't know too much about it. It's a bit of a mystery, and I think that's why everyone is so excited about it. You explore the galaxy and check out procedurally generated worlds, all while hopping in and out of your ship on foot combat and space combat. It's just, there's so much, and it's so ambitious, and we can't wait to see if it's all worth the hype. Number five. Do you ever want to go on a Goonies-style adventure as a kid? Did you like the old Zelda games? Crossing Souls might be your thing. It's set in California in the summer of 1986, and it's a top-down adventure game. And honestly, we're just so excited because it's just different. As of the time of this video, Crossing Souls is still currently on Kickstarter, and if it's fully funded, it'll release on Windows, Mac, and Linux in 2015. Number 4. After years of waiting, we can't wait to get Grand Theft Auto V on PC. Sure, it'll be great that it finally arrives on the PC Master Race where it belongs, but the most exciting thing about Grand Theft Auto V on PC is that we're going to see a bunch of awesome graphics and gameplay mods. Those are YouTube videos that I'm really looking forward to. Number 3. The follow-up to The Witcher 2, one of the most graphically impressive and ambitious games on PC. The Witcher 3 looks really ambitious and looks to raise the bar even more. After so many delays, we're really excited to finally be able to play the game where the series started on PC. Number 2. We don't know too much about it, but we want to play Just Cause 3. Just Cause 2 was one of the most action-packed, fun games, especially when they added a multiplayer mod to it. Just Cause 3 is going to have wingsuits, destructible environments, and a more densely packed map. And oh, we're freaking out. We can't wait. It'll be out on Windows, PS4, and Xbox One sometime in 2015. Number 1. Hotline Miami 2, wrong number. Okay, the original Hotline Miami was strange, psychedelic, really uncomfortable, but so, so good. Not only did it have this brutal action and 80s aesthetic that we don't see very often, the gameplay was addicting as hell. Wrong number takes place before and after the first game and features several different playable characters. With these new characters that all have their unique play styles, it looks like Hotline Miami 2 is really going to step up from the original and become something even bigger than it already is. And we can't wait to play it. Whew, guys, so that was the list of our top 25 most anticipated PC games coming out in 2015. Of course, our list is absolutely huge. Yours doesn't have to be as huge as ours, but let us know in the comments what your most anticipated PC games are next year. And of course, like I said earlier, liking and subscribing really helps us out, and especially subscribing because we give away free stuff all the time. But as always, guys, you can check out GameRanks.com for more video game news and reviews. And if you've subscribed already, we love you, and we'll see you next time.